Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, kind of a different video than the norm I've been doing for a while. Um, I'm actually doing a quadcopter, uh, which I'd never thought I'd say a retro build <laughs> quadcopter. Um, if, if, if many of you follow my channel, you know that I fly mostly uh, microcopter brand um, out of Germany. And uh, most of the quads that you've ever seen in my videos for the past um, eight, nine years have all been microcopter mostly. So um, what I decided to do, since I have several of these, you know, full full stacks of uh, microcopter controllers and even original one there too, redboards, uh, 2.1s and 2.2s, I figured I'm just going to go ahead and build this. And what this frame is, this is a 400 millil millimeter frame. So it's the smallest one of the ones they made. And I've had it for a while and I just wanted, I wasn't sure if I was ever going to build it, to be honest, but lately I've been on a retro vintage kick of all the RC cars uh, that you've seen on my channel. So I decided, you know what, I've got a bunch of parts laying around. I've had this chassis or this frame and um, I wanna build it. I wanna, I wanna do a nice clean build. And what's, what's unique about these frames are super light. I don't know the exact specs right now, but I mean, the whole frame is made up of just those four arms and these two plates and plastic screws that assemble it and then metal screws that just hold the center. Um, I decided to go with these older KDA motors. I've had these for about eight, nine years also, but they're brand new. These motors are brand new. Um, I put carbon fiber vinyl around the edges there. So, and it's also using a reverse prop. So the actual bottom of the motor is here. So it's just gonna use a reverse shaft. Um, so I'm just gonna run them you know, like that. Um, these are the cheap motors. This is what the motors that most guys built on, you know, eight years ago, nine, uh, eight, seven, eight years ago. These were KDEs. These are the smallest of the KDEs. I don't remember the size offhand, guys, but it can run 4S because I will run it on a 4S. And uh, that's how I'm going to do it. So I wanted to do it this way with the motor and the prop holder only because it gives it a more low-profile look instead of having the motor sit on top, then the adapter, then the prop, and the it would sit, you know, almost two inches or an inch and a half above the actual arm. Whereas this, it's more low profile. So uh, when I'm done, this is going to be a very, very light, light build. It's going to have a full stack, like I, like I showed you here, with the compass, uh, GPS, and all that. And it'll have wireless uh, for the navigate or uh, for the uh, for the map tools and all that. So um, I'm going to wire it up with these nice heavy duty servo wires because they're actually heavier duty than the wires that are on the motors. And since they're short motor wires, I'm just going to feed them through. Because it was designed to feed your motor wires through the arms. So you had a really clean build. And then the ESCs will mount inside the plates. So you have nothing on your arms and then just the motor. But I'm going to put LEDs on here because I'm going to make it so we can fly at night. And um, that'll be it. So um, again, I'm going to use one of these full stacks. Let me get it out here with the satellite uh, receiver. So here's a full stack here, microcopter.de. That's uh, the website, they've, you know, they've been around one of the longest for building flight controllers. And uh, in my eyes, in my feel, nothing feels better than microcopter to me. And uh, I gotta pause one second, I'm gonna show you. I just want to do a quick pause because I wanted to get my radio. I bought a new DX8, and since I bought it, I wanted to do, this is a G2, I wanted to do a uh, quad build since um, I've only, I only have my hexacopter and a couple other ones, um, the yellow guard frame uh, that you've seen in some of the past videos. So I have not used this radio yet. Um, it's, a, it's an awesome radio, and uh, I just needed an upgrade for my DX7. It's been years um, since I've bought a new uh, quad radio and uh, DX8 you know I, I like spectrum I've never had any cutout issues any uh, anything like that so and uh, only thing I use which most of us use are uh, spectrum uh, satellite receivers on these you could use a diversity board which I have and you run you know four of these but this is all I've ever used that's what I use on all of them well this one doesn't have it on there but they all that's all I run on all of them so but that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be uh, doing another update video as I move along here. Um, but, uh, you know, I've gotten messages from guys and post why am I not doing any quad videos. And I still am uh, quad addict. So um, 
I'm always going to fly quads. doesn't mean we don't fly because you don't see the videos. My son and I, Ireland, you haven't seen him in the videos in a long time, but he still flies. Uh, my other son, Ryan's flying, and we're going to get my other youngest son get going on here as well. So, um, But microcopters fly phenomenal. Nothing, nothing, nothing ever feels any better on the sticks than these. I'm telling you, you know, you can't run a 6S on them. On, my, on these motors, but I can run a 4S, which is still crazy power on that, with such a light frame too. So, I mean, you're only talking uh, two, three ounces for the frame. I mean, it's ridiculously light, maybe two. I mean, it's literally that light. So, but thanks for watching. Uh, I'll put a part two up as I go, and to like, subscribe, and uh, you know, if you wanna see more quad videos, stuff like that, or any other videos of stuff that you've seen in the past in my videos, just uh, let me know. Cool, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it, bye-bye.